Okay, so here I have uh, the power board already wired with all the wires. See right here, here, and then the back. And then I have the speaker here. Now, before I did anything, the easiest thing to do is what you do is you put put the solder on first and then you put the wire that makes it easier instead of solder wire together so that's 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 a tip if you want to do it just put the solder on first and then put the wire okay here's the uh, completed in the uh, little uh, bracket as you can see this I put uh, captain tape on it just to keep it in place um, and then it goes here. I put some here in case this might cut it. It's got sharp edges. So I couldn't find my electrical tape, but uh, I think Captain tape would do fine. And then uh, here's in the completed speaker. All right. Okay. So my uh, video card finally came in, so I could like sort of put it together. But first, you need to line up the first your video card in the slot. There's this other slot that I'll probably never use, and it'll go over. So you want it here, and I've kind of. Mm, adjusted it, measured, fits it for a slot, and then I put the uh, port cover here, and I've adjusted it, and it looks about right. So. So and then I took a marking pen and crossed it out. Also, actually, I made a pattern for myself. Uh, it's one it's 160 by uh, millimeters by 45. I cut out a pattern and, and I put it here and crossed it. So it'll follow the lines here. I'll give you a close up later. So, and then I'll, I'll also show you what parts I'll be using. But, so, but this was the main part, so I could pretty much try to kind of fit it. Okay, here's a close up picture of the panel, port panel I'll be cutting. So, here, as you can see, the lines here. I'll be cutting it across down and it should fit this I'll grind it down if I have to then up here is a picture of the standoffs that I made kind of jury rigged it together so I couldn't find any of the larger ones, so uh, these are what? These are brass machine screws, six and three quarters. So let me tell you what motherboard I'll be using in this hack. It's the Gigabyte. G41M-ES2L and it's uh, revision 1.1 1 .1. so it's the motherboard and this is how it looks it's a micro A ATX the next is the video card which is a Zotac GeForce 9500 GT zone edition and this 
this is how it looks like. Fanless. And it's got the DVI, VGA, and a HDMI. Supposedly that works, should work. So it's pretty nice. So I'm going to keep it silent. The power supply I'll be using is a uh, Antec uh, Earthwatts 500. And it's a it's a green color, and I picked this out because these ports, because of these ports, which actually match up pretty much to this. But I didn't want to cut anything out or anything. I just I heard this plastic's pretty tough and brittle, so I was looking for one that'll match the ports here. Let me see. can see the power supply fits in and then the ports power and the on off match so and the, it's a standard ATX so I'll use the reuse the screws here <laughs> 